Hi guys, Jan here and welcome back to the present. So, karo nate pangutan ng coming from Brian. Brian. So, medyo taas sa iyang comment. But the question goes like this. Unsahon dali mo pagkabalo kung effective ka na supervisor? So, ikaw manager ka, ikaw supervisor ka, or just the point na ka direct report, uh, go up a video for you and let's get into this. Now, Para makabalo ka kung effective ka na supervisor, one of the things that I did back in like how many years ago? Like four years ago? Or even now actually is that I asked feedback from the direct reports. Okay? I asked feedback from the direct reports. Na yun na na realidad ana. Especially if you are in a workplace, kung ikaw po ng amo manggo nila, ikaw supervisor manager, mataha dyan ang tao sa imuha. Na ay, na ay tendency na mataha sila mas kina buutan ka mas kina approachable ka pero naaga po'y feeling na mataha ang tao sa imuha though na ibang tao na medyo wala sila ipaki alam kung sa imong tango na ibang tao ni nana but in most cases mataha sila sa imuha so in this case if you're the supervisor try to do the first move okay try to do the first move ikaw ang modulo sila may yung ka bay or yung, yung, yung ka kusay pangalan buta to pangalan niya kay uh, Adrian yung pangalan ni Adrian okay, Adrian so, mag-set a meeting, let's say, mag-set mo meeting one week from now, tapos mangayo ka sa iya o feedback. So, ang feedback, as much as possible, dili siya, dili siya ka ng adjective, dili siya naghahatag o description sa imuha. Pasabot, anak, kay, kanang, sir, buutan, mangut ka, sir, muna ganahan ko sa imuha. That's not a very, compre- that's not a comprehensive feedback. When you talk about feedback, kanang bitong specific na sitwasyon, for example, mingon siya sa imuha na, sir, Katumanggong last Saturday, napansin na ako, nagitabangan ni mo si Leash kay kuan na, na, na problema sa siyang trabaho. So, gitabangan ni mo siya in terms of guiding her. In ter- in ana. So, mahulog ana kay nakita jud niya ang imuhang gibuhat. So, at least ikaw as a supervisor, kabalo ka kung unsa ang mga butang na nindot na buhato ni mo, na padayon ni mo siya buhato. Na gets niya siya. So, it's not just about the good things. You also have to prepare about the negative things that they're going to say about you. Okay, dito input kay paminaw na kung nangayo lang kag feedback session niya, puro lang kalipay ang imong madawat, then dili pud siya healthy. Why? Because you get to learn more about the things that you did bad compared to the things that you did good, actually. So, you are learning in both ways, pero daghan pud kag lessons makuha, inigma sa yup ka. So, pag once maghatag ang direct report sa imong feedback na negative, open-minded lang gihapunta. Alright? As long as they are coming from a perspective na factual lang ilang ginahatag. Dili description. Dili kay, Sir, di ko, baktian mo ko sa'yo mo. Hindi ko ganaan sa'yo mong inanay mo style. It's not helping. It has to be more constructive. It has to be more factual. No? Pag-abot sa feedback. And as a supervisor and as a manager, kailangan jud na when we listen, no? Kung maminaw ta ba? Sa ato mga direct reports, we are there to listen with the intent to understand, not with the intent to, to reply. Sa ato pa, pag once mag-feedback sa sa tua, maminaw ta. Dili ta, mag, dili ta mag-supak, dili ta mag-himu-himu grasun. Ah, inani, mag-good. Mo, nag-ibuhat ako na kay inani, mag inani. Dili na ta mag himu mga anything that could, that could ka ng, ay? Kay pag buhato na ni mo ba, inani, mahitabo. Ang mga tao, dili na sila ganahan mag-storya o tinuod sa imuha. Ano naman, kayo musto rin sa tinuod si mo, at the end of the day, maghimu-himu, mag-iapot tag-reasons, ah, mo di ay nani, mo di ay nani, mo di ay nani. You can explain, especially kung na-adjo kay tarong na explanation, but try to listen lang jud. Listen lang jud with the intent to understand, not with the intent to reply. So, muna siya, no, isa sa mga pinaka-effective na way for you to get your um, feedback kung unsa imong performance as a supervisor is to ask your direct reports because here's the truth as well kung unsa ang performance sa imong team maupod na ang imong performance just like in any organization kung ikaw ang CEO tapos uh, whatever imong decisions whatever imong performance is also reflected sa tanan na tao under you so kung ikaw na kay team it's the same thing right Muna yung nila na pag once tarong ang coach, guapo ang coach, matarong po ang players, then the chances of them winning a championship is high. So it's the same thing with a business. right? And to tell you the truth, running a team is not easy. Ba? Da- dapat taasin mong pasensya, tapos maghuna-huna po ka na, hala, basig malain siya pag mag-feedback ka. 
Kumbaga, kailangan po niyo i-determine ang difference sa personal ninyo na relationship o professional ninyo na relationship. Okay? Ang personal mag na relationship, guwapo na siya for you to build rapport. Nama? Kanang, kanang ma-feeling mo na dili lang puro trabaho, pero kailangan gihapon na ake profession. So, personal and professional relationship should be segregated, but it can be intertwined. Okay? So, yeah. So, that's one of the best ways. Just like, kung imo po siyang i-connect, no? Buta to sa business perspective. Kung gusto ka makabalo kung how your business is performing, kung gusto ka makabalo kung unsay feedback sa mga tao, sa customers mo about your business, ay mong pwede buhaton is mga yung kag-FGD or kanang mga yung kag-feedback gikan sa mong customers. So, at least kanina mga ways ba, ang punto lang is to ask. That's the point. is for you to ask and listen with the intent to understand not with the intent to reply. So yeah, so guys, maybe you have basig na pud mula ng mga pamaagi na makatabang kay Brian kung unsa niya pagkabalo kung effective ba siya na supervisor or manager. So let us know in the comment section and kung nakatabang ning video sa imo, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that every time we have new videos, you will get notified. So see you on the next video.